Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde. Fabulously dressed to it. This I side of Manhattan and the name of the restaurant is Grand Rancho Jubilee. Grand Rancho Jubilee with the manager Jubilee. of this fabulous establishment. Show yourself to the camera dollars. Certainly. My name is uh, John Tejada. I'm working here from uh, six months ago for the past six months. Um, this is a fantastic place to come and enjoy. It's, uh, beside to be a familiar place, is a Dominican place just not, just not for Dominicans, for international, all people, everyone. So we look forward to everyone come here to exceed their expectation. So this restaurant is not just about having a, a Latin experience, but an international experience. Certainly it is. This is all, you will face only not just, uh, let's say, Dominican or Latin food. You will face uh, an international menu, fantastic meats, excellent seafood, fish. So we look forward to to everyone come audience, to enjoy. When people do dine at the restaurant, is there a special dish that they come here just exclusively for the restaurant? Well, uh, in the restaurant, all our dishes are special, but certainly, yes, we focus on a few dishes. Let's say, like, uh, our tropical uh, soup, we call it Sancocho, it's very famous. It's a soup made with badari uh, meat, and beside that, a, a few dishes that we call a playera. Oh, you make paella. I pa love pa paella. Paella. Um, we do excellent. Um, another dish we call uh, uh, playera. That's different than paella. What is in that? Tell, tell my the, audience. Certainly. The playera is uh, we smash green uh, fried plantain. Then we made a nice Creole fresh sauce. And then the seafood, mixture of seafood. We saute it, put it on top of the... Is you make like a big smash plantain base, you put the seafood on top, uh, that is fantastic. It sounds delicious. Fantastic. Maybe I'll where should we that? all go to find out more information about your lovely restaurant here in Elmhurst, New York? Certainly, you can go on our website, which is uh, www.com, uh, grandranchojubilee.com. Fabulous. Let's toast to a wonderful evening. Salute right here at Jubilee Restaurant. We'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews coming up right here at this fabulous restaurant, Jubilee, in Elmhurst, New York. Pink champagne kisses. <laughs> Oh, 
people. Welcome back, darlings. We are here with a Grand Rancho Jubilee restaurant right here in Elmhurst, New York, and I am here with Mr. Nelson Rodriguez, who is the executive chef of this fabulous Dominican restaurant right here in Elmhurst. What a feast I see before me. Explain to my audience all these fabulous dishes that I'm looking at. These are all the famous signature dishes of the restaurant. Am I right about that? Yes, it is. Um, that's a famous Dominican soup. He has this right here that I'm looking at right here. This is the favorite the famous soup that everybody comes from all over New York, all over Queens, all over Long Island. They come from the Hamptons to eat this soup, right? I cannot say the names. A lot of famous people come for that, and they they always really? order to go, but I'm not going to say the names. You're name. not allowed to tell me their the celebrity will. names? No, I can't say that, but they always come. Very, very famous. Explain to my audience about this soup. Well, it's a soup. It's a heavy soup. It consists of chicken, it has pork, it has beef, you could put sausage, you could put different kinds of meat, and you could put yuca, you could put plantains, and basically it's a thick, 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 thick soup. Well, the reason is uh, the farmers, they used to eat heavy to go to the land all day, so they needed to eat something, a soup, but easy to digest, but with a lot of meats, a lot of, you know, customs, everything from, land, from the land, everything fresh. But they used to eat the early, early, like let's say, 11, 12, and then they used to stay all the way to the night because they needed to do the harvest on time. So basically, that's one of the famous soups. Uh, they used to put to the smoked pork chops. You could put anything, like seven kinds of meats. Excellent, excellent. And this, tell my audience about this. This is all about the shrimp, right? Yes, yes, because we are from everywhere. Basically, we cater to everywhere. We're next to the airport, and this is from Peru. It's a shrimp ceviche. Um, it's basically marinated in fresh lime, olive oil, maybe a little bit of salt and pepper to the taste. And uh, it's never enough. Basically, we never have enough, and people love this. It. It's a good appetizer. It's light. It's not too heavy, and it always goes good. You know, it always goes good with a white wine. It's always good to have a, fr uh, a fresh uh, shrimp ceviche. Now, this is the soup, right? That mm -hmm. you just put in the dish. Very, very interesting. Fascinating. And where it's placed, uh, the Indian used to eat in those kinds of pots uh, made of clay so basically we try to bring that here to, so people can understand how we used to eat back in the 1400 1500 when the Indians because those could they, it goes all the way back to Columbus those kinds of food and the African we have a African influence, influence yeah. as well yeah. so Dominican Republic is a, an influx of um, Spain, Spain and Africa, Africa yeah. and Indians too, in, right? the Indians they were there first but you know, history, I like America, but it's, everything is for the better. So everything, Nelson, everything. tell my audience what we're seeing right before us. This looks amazing. This is a feast. What is this? Okay, this looks amazing. What am I looking at right here? Yeah, fresh shrimp with white wine, parsley, garlic, saute with some pot fresh potatoes and some vegetables. Gorgeous. Light, light. light Gorgeous. Light. And this, what is this? That's a sh uh, the seafood canoe that I was, you know, the... Um, Mr. John was explaining to you, it's a uh, squash, we boil it, then the inside, we boil it too, and then we make mash with that. Ma you know, the mash, 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 the inside, and then we saute the, the seafood. We got scallops, it has shrimps, it has octopus, it has lobster, it has mussels, it has clams, a little bit of everything. It's a feast of seafood, everything. So, and this dish, what I'm looking at right over here. We try to give it a Dominican, like, Concept. So we use plantain to make the base. What we do is we fry the plantains, then we mash it and we form it like a scoop, like a like a little base. And then we saute with a Creole sauce. We do the seafood, a little bit of white wine always, a little pepper, a little secret of the chest. We're not gonna tell, and uh, it's always it always works. This looks like truly a spectacular feast, and I can't wait to delve into it. I want you to tell my audience, Nelson, where can we go on the internet? to find out where, how, everything about the restaurant, all the information that we need to we know about the restaurant. We have a website, you could look at it at Google, GrandRanchoJubilate.com. We have uh, the website. We also have a club, so basically after you eat, you could go down to the club. We and always work it all off, right? Dance yes. the night away. You need the exercise. Fabulous. Well, Nelson, I want to thank you for talking to us about this fabulous array of spectacular food. I can't wait to eat it. Let's toast to a wonderful evening.
Salud. Salud. We'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews coming up. Pink champagne kisses. And we are here at Grand Jubilee Restaurant in Elmhurst, New York. And I am here with the owner of this fabulous, authentic Dominican restaurant. Introduce yourself to the camera, doll. Thank you, thank you, Konya. Welcome. Welcome to all you guys, you, especially you. Uh, my phone is ringing, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot to turn it off. A busy, busy <laughs> restaurant owner. I'll call you later. I'm on a movie interview right now. <laughs> Tell my audience your name, Tom. <laughs> my name is Domingo Tavare. I'm the owner and creator of the franchise Rancho Jubilee. Many which do come here and dine, don't they? Yeah, many, many people, especially baseball players. Uh, oh. Could you name a few? Will they like, like to? Alex Rodriguez. Uh, it doesn't Pedro matter whether Martinez. you're a movie star or just a you know a worker that had a rough day at work wants to come and have a good meal, right? Yes, I treat I treat everybody equal. That's why you don't see pictures of me and anybody hugging anybody because I don't want to get advantage of like somebody famous came here. You don't want him, you don't want people to think you're pretentious. Yes, I want to be a normal people. Uh, I serve a normal meal, and I don't want to use them like a, a trampoline to, to, to go to, to the people like uh, Barack Obama came here once and uh, this is a good place. I'm going to show you what a good place is by you eating, drinking, and the way I treat you. But the stars come here because the food is good. Right? <laughs> That's what people say, but I guarantee you, if you don't like it, I you see won't that pay. you also brought a bottle of wine to the table. Tell my audience what would be the appropriate wine to drink with this array of food that I'm seeing right before me. Okay, what well, we're in here with shrimp, I suggest, suggest uh, like a Pinot Grillo, which is very dry, and with a seafood combination, a Cabernet Sauvignon, which is, is, is a little more a little more sour, which it, w it will give you more pleasure every time you drink. It will clean up your palate. your your palate, your flavor, and it's, you're gonna feel like you are starting all a over. Fresh meat, right? Okay. Yeah. Is that what you're drinking right now? This yes. red wine. No, uh, this red wine is for beef. Uh, I already ate. This is we're gonna go and do the for the show. But this one, I eat it after I eat, because I already ate, and I'm eating right now. Fabulous, fantastic. Tell my audience the website for them to go to, to find out more information. Okay, we are located at GranRancho.com, and our address is 2304 94th Street, Ips and Hearst, New York, located across one block away from LaGuardia Airport. That's, we are in the corner of 23rd Avenue and 94th Street. That's a big, big ranch, which we call it the Great Rancho of the America. Of the America! Let's toast, darling. Let's toast to a fabulous salud, dinner. Salud, salud, salud. salud. I want to give you a kiss goodbye and a hug to stay. Oh, a hug to stay. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And we will be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews coming up. Next is Christy Rodriguez, fabulous recording artist right from Miami. Big champagne kisses. Fantasy dress to impress. One of a kind girl. This has been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.